Hello, I'm Primi Jails and I would like to welcome everyone to the Start Results special series here on YouTube on how to kiss for entrepreneurs. And before you think too much about how we use the word kiss, here we meant it by keep it super simple. So before we dive deeper into what we are going to talk about in this episode, uh, let me introduce you a little bit to Start Results. So we were founded in 2014 by Aaron Machano and we're part of Leaders of Tomorrow group along with several other companies. So you see the names there. Um, if you come across any of them, just know that they are our sisters. And uh, we provide entrepreneurship education um, under the belief that uh, entrepreneurship is actually the key to solving world problems. We work mostly with entrepreneurs we call them so these are the people who want to try or curious to become an entrepreneur but they have never had any experience in business build uh, business building whatsoever um, or serial entrepreneurs who are starting a new business with a new idea so we help them through our program called the entrepreneurship incubator program which is a 12 weeks program where we take them from building their ideas into launching it into the marketplace. So we're actually basing our curriculum based on this amazing um, uh, journey or roadmap. We call this the Entrepreneurship Board or in short, eboard so you might see this elsewhere uh, as well so this is coming from us um, and you can see here on the left hand side of your screen there's some words there incubator color coded green the blue one accelerator and the red reddish one is the traction so those are the three main phases that people have to go through in building their business in their journey and each of the phases has the stages so people have to go through these stages step by step in building their business. So Start Results is mainly dealing with the people who are in the incubation phase. So we take them from the, in the journey from stage one to stage five. We go deeper into that and build their skills across six peak performance areas, as you can see there. And we also introduce them to the stage six of the market launch. So I'm not going to uh, talk too much about this one um, anymore, but I have a little bit of a gift. Here's a summary about that. And if you would like to test out or assess yourself on uh, um, what stage are you at at the moment with your business, we actually have this link available for you to take the assessment and our team can send the results back to you within the next 48 hours after you take the assessment. So I'm going to put this link below in the description of this video for you to take later if you want to. So now I would like to just welcome you all to episode one of How to Kiss for Entrepreneurs. We are going to discuss more about what's important in stage one, which is actually building your idea. And now we are going to kiss your idea. Um, Basically, by the, by the end of this episode, what we want or what we aim to achieve is that for you to be able to uh, have just one objective, keeping it very, very simple, is that having an exec executable idea. Because um, what we recognize is that the main or common problems that people are usually experiencing in this um, stage is that if they are the type of entrepreneurs, they have no previ previous experiences in business, so they don't know where to start, all right? It leads to confusion because they know too little about it or they go to Google and then try to Google everything about building business and now they have too much information and then they get confused again. Or in case of serial entrepreneurs who are starting a new business with a new idea, they sometimes know too much about it or their attention is split between this idea building and the previous business that they're still probably running and so they got stuck in confusion. These all leads to frustration and then it often, most of the time, it leads to procrastination. You cannot do anything, you keep on postponing and then the uh, later becomes never. In our community, we call this the NATO, no action, talk only stage. So we don't want that and, um, oh, somebody's um, um, dogs barking outside, but that's fine. Um, 
here's how we can help you to kiss your idea. It's actually very, very simple. It's just using the WH questions, but what you need to do is that you need to answer them in this particular order. You start with the why, and then the what, and then the who, when, where, and close it off with the how. Um, we have also another gift for you. We're actually giving away a tool that looks like this. We call it the Start Results Idea Board. We have a downloadable for this one, so the link is also put below in the description, so you can download that, print that out, or even fill it digitally for you to use and have fun with it. So I'm just going to show you how we use this particular tool. So firstly, we start with the why. Here, what you need to do is to, to clarify your motivation as to why you need this idea, whatever it is, to become a business. Is it because somebody else has a problem that potentially you can help solve with this idea? Or probably um, it could help the environment, probably it could help the community, probably it could help someone that you care about or you love so much or probably it can help yourself and solve your own problem. So whatever it is, even probably is that, for example, you could use the extra income, or this can help you build your dream life. So whatever it is, there's no right or wrong, it is what's true to you, but you need to clarify your why first. And then after that, you move to the what. Here, you basically just need to make a decision whether you're going to provide a product or a service. I mean, you probably see out there that there might be some businesses that provides both. But nevertheless, at this stage, when you're about to start, you just need to decide. You can't jump, jump around with both feet at the same time. You'll get tired in no time. So you just need to decide which feet are you, which foot, sorry, are you going to put first, right? Um, so is it a product or is it going to be in the form of service? The next part is for you to actually think about the who. And this who is basically just the 10 people at least that you know who probably need this product or service. So list down these names, right? You have their contact numbers as well where they live and everything like that. So you put them down in the piece of paper. And then you think about the when. Here is another decision making. You just need to decide of a deadline of when you're going to make it happen. So when you're going to launch it, this business, the product or this service. And the key here is that you need to announce it and not just to any people. I mean, it's, it's your rights if you want to put it on your social media. But what the main important thing is that you need to tell this information to people who are very, very important to you, whose opinion matters to you, at least five of them. Why? Because this will very, very much help you in the procrastination part, because you're going to owe it to them because now you've told them about it. So, you know, you want to save your face in front of the people that you respect so much, right? So you're going to want to make it happen. So this is, this is why you need to announce it to the people that is most important to you, whom um, you respect so much. So, and then the next part is to decide the where. Um, where is the location or where is this going to start? You know, where are you going to launch it? So this is basically around um, very much connected with the who. So you're going to, to you're, you're going to need to see where they are located. If it's a physical location, you need to see where these people are spending most of their time or where they live, where they do most of the activities that actually need your product or your service, right? So that's where you start. And then the last part of this is actually around the how. So how is more of an action step. So you scribble, you jot, jot down, you sketch even the plan or a roadmap of the steps that you need to take. And best to have a daily action plan on this one of how are you going to start to make it happen, to be able to um, um, you know, launch this business at the particular date that you have announced, right? So probably tomorrow you will start with making the list of 10 people 
the day after that, you will probably uh, go and survey the target location to validate some information that you need to, to, to see. You might need to survey and then probably you need to know more about, you know, um, how to produce the product or how to deliver the service. You're going to probably do a market research. So you jot down the things that you need to do on a daily basis to get where you need to um, when it comes to actually um, have the idea becoming an opportunity for you. So this is how simple it can get step by step for you to have then an executable idea. So that's a wrap actually for this episode and hopefully uh, we want you to just give it a try, download the document, the tool from the uh, uh, link below and just have fun with it and let us know how you go with it. All right. So um, this has been something that's very, very exciting for us because this is the first series that we are starting on YouTube. So um, hopefully that uh, we are going to be able also to see you in the next episode, which we are going to probably dwell some uh, uh, more into the uh, uh, stage two around brainstorming these ideas with somebody or doing a little bit of a market research so that now you have more clarity about how viable your idea is. So that's it again from me. Thank you so much for watching this video and hope to see you in the next episode. Just um, not to forget also for you to like this video and click subscribe, hit that bell so that you get notification every time we post a new video in this channel. And that's how you contact us as well. This is Primi Jails from Start Results signing off and see you.